Writers have recognized the value of a second banana long before vaudeville coined the term. Audiences love a good friendship, and writers love it even more because it paves a ready path for some essential storytelling tactics. In fiction, a writer's best friend can be the friend we give our protagonist. Far from just playing second fiddle in the story, a well-crafted companion can open the door for revealing interaction and dialogue. Instead of banging the audience over the head with facts, details conveyed comfortably in a conversation feel perfectly natural and can even disguise their eventual importance to the story. In Veronica Roth's blockbuster Divergence series, the first friend Triss makes when entering the intimidating new world she has chosen is fellow initiate Christina. Roth cleverly chose to make Christina a candor whose outspoken observations are a steady source of revelation and discovery. Even Tom Hanks' stranded hero in Castaway is given a volleyball to talk to. His four years on a desert island would have seen him talking to himself without Wilson to keep him company. A hero with no one to interact with doesn't reveal much. In a comedy, it's especially important to have a partner in crime, a foil perhaps, to share the hero's dilemma, or even make it worse. For example, roping a co-worker into pretending to be the heroine's fiancé is the sort of ruse from which both companions stand to win or lose, increasing the stakes for all. Where would Andy have been without Barney? Lucy without Ethel. Those two examples epitomize two very classic chemistries. One, the sensible protagonist with the wacky friend. And two, the wacky protagonist with the sensible friend. Although Ethel usually could be talked into any harebrained scheme. The supporting cast is a rich field for mining useful and memorable characters. The quirky neighbor is a particularly popular archetype. Sitcoms like Bewitched and Three's Company were enhanced by the nosy neighbor Gladys Kravitz and the befuddled landlord, Mr. Roper. Viewers of Newhart would eagerly anticipate the weekly arrival of Larry, Daryl, and their other brother, Daryl, a trio of country bumpkins in sharp contrast to Bob's button-down personality. In more recent memory, Seinfeld's Kramer opened the door to at least momentary mayhem whenever he came bursting in just as Lenny and Squiggy did on Laverne and Shirley. Not that all neighbors need to be nutty. Sometimes, as on Home Improvement, the guy next door is the voice of reason, even when the fence obscures his informative face. Other times, a source of wisdom and guidance, or the moral compass of the story, is right under the hero's nose. Whether they are a harbinger of hassles for our protagonist, or just someone to reveal plot points with, a second banana or a supporting character with pizzazz has the potential to become a breakout personality the audience comes to enjoy on a par with the hero themselves. We put a great deal of thought into our protagonist, making sure they have charisma and wit and are interesting and worth caring about. Don't they deserve a good friend to hang out with?